welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a very quick tutorial on how to import flight plans from Simbrief to the JAR A34500, which was just released the other day. I've had a few people ask me how to do it. Some people have never used a JAR product before. Now, if you've had the JAR A330 or the A320, it's exactly the same process, uh, but it's a little bit different to how you'd normally put in uh, your flight plans for the FMS, say for TOLIS, etc. So I thought I'd just do a very quick tutorial, be very fast on how to import it. So we're here in Simbrief. Uh, so we're going to just log in. And then you're going to go pick create a new flight. Now, for this instance, I will fill out the whole sim brief, but I'll just put inside a game for the minute and I'll put 001. Uh, this will not show on the FMS anyways. Uh, OK, so we're going to go from EGKK and we're going to go to EGCC. So that's Gatwick to Manchester. It's not very far, but I will be making a full cold and dark tutorial uh, and I'm going to be using this actual flight plan. So for the airframe, you need to make sure now you go and pick the A345, which is the A340-500. And then it's going to pick its descent profiles and stuff for you. Uh, it's going to pick the runways, so 08 right, that's fine. Flight time is 1 hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes for taxis, that's all fine. Keep going down here, you can see Lamis, Daytona 2A. Okay, so this is your actual flight plan if you've never used Simbrief before, I'm sure most of you have. And that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to generate the OFP. Now that the OFP has been uh, put here, we can now see our block fuel for today, zero fuel weight, which is all very important. Uh, as you can see, it's a very short flight up to Manchester. Always good for tutorials. And you can see your cost index here is 109. Uh, so these are little bits of information that you need to go back on once you're into the aircraft. Now, what you need to do here is go down to download FMS. Now, what would normally happen is you would download the X-Plane FMS and you put it into the FMS folder. That does not work for the JAR. So what we need to do is you go up here and you see JAR Design Airbus and it's a .txt file. We need to download that and you'll get it come flashing up down the bottom. So what I'll do now, I'm just gonna minimize this box and I'm gonna bring up a folder and you need to go to your X-Plane directory. Now mine's in Games 2X, um, it'd be wherever you've put your own, okay? Because I have my X-Plane with my trains together. Okay, so we click on the X-Plane, you want to click on your aircraft folder. Maybe I'll make this just a little bit bigger for you guys. Okay, uh, then you're going to go to your 340 jar design. In here, you're going to want to go to your flight plans, and you can see it actually has a load of flight plans already inputted into the uh, FMS. And uh, all you now need to do is drag this one up. What I need to do is make it a bit smaller so I can drag it. Uh, we're going to drag that up into here. And you're going to see it now says EGKK EGCC. Okay, that's very important. We just need to remember that. So the next step is now to load up the plane in the simulator. Okay, so now that we're here in the simulator, I've loaded up the uh, JAR A340, and you're going to see you get the MacDo pops up straight away. Now, we can go through settings and stuff. I will be doing a full cold and dark tutorial today as well, um, and I'll go through a lot more of the settings and things you need to do. All I want to show you is how to actually just input the, the flight plan. So you'll go to your init page, and then what you want to do is type in the airports you're at. So E, G, K, K. You need to put your slash, and you put E, G, C, C, which is Manchester and we're gonna put that into the from and to so you get a couple of things you get an empty flight plan which you don't want uh, you can generate a flight plan which it will do itself which is pretty handy or you'll see now you can see that the company route flight plan has come up and if we click on that it will give you the waypoints that it gave us and we'll press insert and there you go your flight plans actually already inside so all you need to do is finish filling in uh, these last few boxes like I said I will be doing a full cold and dark tutorial uh, later on today so I'm not gonna go into this too much because I will in that tutorial um, but if we just go to our flight plan, you can see that the flight plan has been input apart from the SIDS and STARS, which is always the same. So all you then go is EGKK, go to your departure, your 08 right, and uh, I can't remember off the top of my head now which departure we had. And uh, we had the LAMS 1Z, okay, so LAMS 1Z, we'll throw that in, you put that into your flight plan. And there you go. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to go into it, but you do the same then for EGCC. And that's as simple as that. That's how you input the flight plan from Simbrief into the JAR A340 for anyone that has never used a JAR product before. If you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. I'd love myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.